everybody, it's Jamie here and a very warm welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. I'm sailing on board Ambassador Cruise Line for the first time on board the newest ship, Ambition. And in today's vlog, you and I are going to have a little poke around... <laughs> and in today's vlog, you and I are going to have a little peep... <laughs> And in today's vlog, you and I are going to have a nose around my Ocean View cabin. It's cabin 7107, portside, aft, Ocean View, three to four berth. Let's do this. There are 680 cabins on board Ambassador Ambition, accommodating approximately 1,200 passengers. Apart from some multi-generational cruises, this is largely an adults-only vessel. My cabin is located on Deck 7 Boat Deck. I know, it's a ship, right? You're very close to most of the facilities which are located on Deck 6 and 5. Alrighty, so Deck 7 is indeed Boat Deck. I know, I know, it's a ship. Now, at the front of Deck 7, you've got the cabin, which is a great bar and lounge. The medical centre, thank you, I might need that. You'll notice as well, there's only one access route down to the aft cabins, and 107 is just up here. So you're going to need to come down here uh, and then take a right and then a left. Here we are, aft and port side. And honestly, Noah's really that far on a ship of this size. So we've got our staircase here, two elevators, we're going to head in this direction. I'll show you the walkway to 7107. It's actually not very far at all. Take a left here and my cabin is just here. You are cordially invited. Let's hope this works because I've had a few issues with this card. Hallelujah. Come on in, folks. Alrighty, so this is an ocean view cabin sleeping three to four passengers. I should call us people, really, shouldn't I? We're people, we've got feelings. Directly to the left, as you come in, hello, you've got a near ceiling to floor mirror. Uh, bathroom on the left-hand side. We've got storage space here. We'll check that out later, but we want to see the main event, don't we? So this is the bedroom area. Um, it has caused a little bit of controversy, actually, online because of the blue stripes on the back wall, which some are saying are incongruent, nay, awful, nay tasteless, against the purple of this cruise line. Um, I would actually say it's the purple that's incongruent with the blue stripes. I like the nautical beach kind of style feel, I do. Also, some people have mentioned the pull-down beds and how you're going to bang your head here. You're really not going to bang your head unless you sit upright uh, against that wall. You're going to be fine. And it's really not claustrophobic either with the beds up on the walls. You can almost sense the, the waving, wagging teacher finger, can't you? And of course, these beds could be placed together to form a double. As it stands, it's just me here on my own. I'm quite happy tucked away on the left-hand side. I always sleep on the left, by the way. Did you really want to know that? And I must say, I had a great night's sleep. It's nice and quiet down here, actually, and a comfy mattress too. And of course, you're going to want to know if there's room for your cases under the bed. Da, 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 da. Bye, Mr. Level 8 case. Absolutely. In between the beds, we've got two units, and I would suggest these are good sizes. Like you've got two deep shelves in there. Um, oh, sorry about the slamming. Uh, telephone, two lamps. Very handy to have those by your bed, actually. They're the last thing I turn off at night. That sounds really wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm doing this all wrong. And of course, you want an ocean view? You got one. We're just coming into Amsterdam, actually. I think we've just passed, yes, the lookout. There's no way I'm going back on that swing of death. One thing to note is you've actually got a good shelf space here, should you need that. I don't need that. I really don't. And let's pan around from this angle so you get a good sense of the space in this ocean view cabin. And directly ahead, we've got our vanity area or workstation, depending on how you're going to use it. Of note, folks, you have uh, a European socket, two UK sockets, a fast charge port and a USB port right underneath the desk, which I think is super convenient. However, there are no sockets either side of the bed. A sphere-like bin down here. Uh, in this cupboard, we have got our hairdryer. I'll test it out for you, don't worry. Um, some good shelf space, I must say. All plugged in. Unfortunately, my darlings, this hairdryer has absolutely given up the ghosts. I probably ought to tell my cabin steward if I'd actually met them. I haven't met them yet. Sorry, 
no blowing today <laughs> and there's another cupboard to the right hand side with two more shelves not bad for storage so far uh, we've got a rack here for your daily newsletter tea and coffee making facilities we've got that horrendous uht milk but better than a slap in the belly with a wet fish no biscuits here by the way now this is interesting i am hungry i mean i'm always hungry aren't i so you can have a what is described as premium breakfast delivered to your cabin in the morning it does cost just shy of nine pounds having said that so i haven't done this yet if you find that i've just slipped in uh, a cabin breakfast well i changed my mind so um undecided it's quite a lot of money for one person i've got to be honest with you newsflash i did order breakfast this is how it went well, the first thing that hasn't impressed me is the man who just dropped that off said, for the coffee, you can make it yourself, and pointed at my kettle. I kid you not. What? I mean, the hot food looks good. Uh, very runny eggs, so I won't be able to eat some of that. Tiniest bowl of beans I've ever seen in my life cold cardboard toast with some lukewarm and cold food plus no coffee i sent it back over here there is a bottle of water waiting for you on arrival but it is chargeable one pounds 85 you can drink the water from the tap in your bathroom no problem it's super super filtered it's also very cold you want to pay more go for it be my guest but you don't have to Good size mirror here, plus a splash of accent colour. Who doesn't love that? Very pleased to say the AC unit is working a treat. Look, I've not even got it on the coldest setting. That's how Arctic it already is in here. Perfect for me and my cold, cold heart. Okay, over here uh, at the foot of this bed, we've got four very good size shelves. The space down here, which I'm using for uh, my smart shoes at the moment. Down here in this cupboard, we've got two more shelves. I thought it might have had a mini bar or fridge, but it hasn't. This is where you'll find your pool towels, if only they ever filled the pools on this ship. And this I really like, actually. Very nice, comfy, cozy blankie. You could obviously use that in your cabin or take it up on deck if you want to sit outside and keep warm if the weather is a bit cooler. You could absolutely move these out of the way and use this as a shelf space as well. Up here, we've got a television. It is not maneuverable. I know this because I nearly pulled it off the wall yesterday trying. We'll have a peep at the channels in a minute. Up here, all these cupboards, uh, they're, they're almost hidden, aren't they? Uh, you've got your safe, which is included in your cruise fare, plus another good-sized shelf. That is officially your bedroom area in an ocean view cabin. What do you think? Alrighty, let's check out the bathroom situation. Do we have clingy curtains? I don't care either way, if I'm honest with you, I really don't. But we don't in here, so for those of you who are very anti-clingy curtains, you're gonna be very happy. So this is uh, a decent sized space for a bathroom, actually. Uh, it has everything you could need. A little bit plastic aroma, uh, but that can be forgiven. This is a very old ship. So first of all, the shower door kind of beveled. Um, took me a while to understand how to operate this. It does block the main door. Um, you're going to get about one and a half people in here. It's not the biggest shower I've had, but I do appreciate the glass doors and the um, hose is maneuverable. You can take it off. You can wash all your bits and bobs to make sure you're nice and clean. Uh, I will say the shower was very hot and powerful, but the water does collect in the bottom of this one a little bit. So it was about that deep and I was getting worried it was gonna overflow. Um, we managed. Now then, Ultimate Blends hair food does not come included in this cabin. This is mine, I love it. It smells like something you would wanna bathe in, slather all over your body, eat indeed. However, they do have Taylor of London products, uh, shampoo, conditioner, hair, and body wash. Alrighty, let's get out of there. Oh, toilet, one cheek, two cheek, ra ra ra. Uh, toilet brush, always appreciated, of course, if you've had a bit of a rough night. Uh, we've got some face towels up here, not sure what they're doing on that wall, but hey ho. Um, we also have some hand wash here. This is called Evoke hand wash never heard of it to be honest with you the sink basin area um when i came in i was like where are the shelves there aren't any up here there are some shelves however just beside the sink basin so you're gonna have to get on your knees sorry about that uh half decent size mirror and one of these terrible terrible close-up 
um, efforts. So as I always say, you can see your imperfections and decide whether you want to go and have surgery. Up, 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 up. We've got our shavers only point. Um, you're going to need a long lead for that one, aren't you folks? <laughs> uh, just panning around, we have uh, a bin here, um, some towels. I am not really sure why we're going with the beige slash brown towel effect. It seems quite incongruent with the purple theme of the ship. I want purple towels. There's a washing line up here as well. Oh look, you could have hours of fun doing this. Uh, I certainly won't be putting my swimming trunks up there to dry because the pools are not filled. Just in case I haven't mentioned that. Okay, let's check out the storage space. Oh, I love the fact that it says evacuated up here inside the toilet. It's like you've had a, a, a poo emergency or something. Oh, and this makes me laugh on the front of the bathroom door. It looks like something out of Mary Poppins, you know. Let's go. I think it means be careful, don't trip over and break your neck. Alrighty, starting off with the right hand side, we have our traditional wardrobe. We've got four life jackets, two up there, two down here. Good amount of hanging space. There's quite a lot of clothing for me for four nights. Uh, down here, of course, you could store your bags, your shoes, just pop your life vest slash jackets on top of one another. We've got Lenore crease releaser, which of course is a godsend. Just don't get it on the floor, otherwise you're gonna slip over and break your neck. Um, we have good sized deep shelves here, plus some drawers at the bottom. Now there's only one laundrette on board. I uh, haven't been able to gain access to it actually, which is a bit annoying, because you need to go to reception and pay to use it. I'll show you those details shortly. There are laundry services available, as you can see from your cabin. I think these are very, very reasonably priced. I have to be honest with you. So if you're here for a little bit longer and you are not using the launderette on board, this might be for you. They also have the magic bag facility. So basically stuff it full, stuff it with as much as you can. It's got to be closable and that will cost you £14.95. And here is said magic bag. Uh, not the biggest of bags, is it? You're going to really want to roll your stuff up carefully and Pack it full of your smalls and goodness knows what else. Self-service laundry is located deck eight midship. Of course, it would be far too easy to just come and go as you please. No, you've got to head to deck five and reception first to buy your ticket for entry. It's like a new style Disney ride. Now then, somebody online asked if I would show them what kind of channels are on the television and who am I to deny you of your request? My goodness, it's very slow. Oh. It's working, it's happening. Well, first of all, you've got your channels here, but have a look as well at information about the ship on the All Aboard app, any messages, plus my account. Oh God, how much have I spent? I've only been on one night. Let's have a peep, shall we? Yes, continue, Jamie William, thank you. Oh my God, drum roll, please. Oh, where's all that come from? The All Aboard app, which you can absolutely use for free on your phone, is also available on the television. So as you can see, if you want to uh, find out what's on, uh, anything about destination services and the kind of excursions available, ship tracker, uh, bars and restaurants, which will include the menus, this is a good little function. I'm just going to show you the cabin services, if you don't mind, because on here you'll be able to view room service. And yeah, it's paid for. I think it's actually quite pricey uh, when I compare it to other cruise lines I've sailed on and how much they charge for room service items, if indeed at all. Here's a quick peep for you. What do you think? Like a burger for £8? Um, yeah, I think that's quite a lot actually for a cruise ship. You can also have bottles of wine or Prosecco or Champagne delivered. The mini bar option as well, but bear in mind you don't have a fridge in your cabin. Plus a look at some of the TV channels on offer. I would suggest there's not a great range if I'm honest with you. Some of you might argue, well, you're on holiday. Why would you be in your cabin watching TV? I absolutely don't care what you do on your holiday as long as you enjoy it. You want to be in your cabin in the evening watching TV? Go for it. There is a bridge cam and an aft cam as well, which is quite nice. I think you benefit from that, particularly if you're in an inside cabin and you can't see daylight. There you go, just coming into Amsterdam. And there you have cabin 7107 onboard ambassador ambition. Personally, I'm very happy with this cabin. It's bright, it's airy. I don't mind the sort of beach field decor 
on the uh, back wall, actually. I don't find it incongruent at all with the feel of the ship. Sorry if you disagree. And there you have cabin 7107 on board Ambassador Ambition. Personally, I'm very happy with this cabin. It's bright, it's airy. I don't mind the sort of beach feel decor on the uh, back wall, actually. I don't find it incongruent at all with the feel of the ship. Sorry if you disagree. Most importantly for me, I had a very good night's sleep last night. It's not noisy down here at all. And I haven't felt all the vibrations and shudders of the engines on this deck. Now, I do feel this ship lacks in breakfast options. So when I saw that you could have breakfast delivered to your cabin, I was very pleased about that. But I do think just shy of nine pound for a tray service charge is really pushing it. I've got to be honest with you, storage space, definitely a plus in this cabin. And of course, I am loving the AC unit. Thank you, Jesus. But what do you think? Would you stay in a cabin like this? drop those comments below i'd love to hear from you and of course don't forget to check out the other vlogs in this ambassador ambition series thank you all for your support in helping me reach in excess of 20,000 subscribers as always today's shout outs go to my patrons if you'd like to become a patron just search patreon.com forward slash travel blog jamie thanks for watching and don't forget to follow me on facebook i mean facebook jamie w robbins X threads and Instagram at Travel Blog Jamie, Patreon and Cameo at Travel Blog Jamie, and YouTube. <laughs>